Okay, so hello all of YouTube. I am here and I'm going to be showing you all how to get multiple mission items as well as make sure you get the good mission items that you want. So here we go. So I just got this level 72 Gunzerker up to the right level and I saved all the specific missions. I saved all the missions that give you good re rewards like the, the Fibber, the Lady Fist, which I'm about to do now. And as you can see, I do have two of them, and in different elements as well. And they're also the best type. So here are... I also did the ruby, got one of each element. And well, uh, I just learned how to read-only farm, so I was testing it with the reverse Scorpio and the law. And the trespasser, this is how I was trying to learn how to do this because I knew this is a level 50 Sandhawk. I have yet to do the missions for the Sandhawk. I haven't even been to Oasis yet, so I will show you guys here. Oh, come on. I need to get good at this. I never used the Fibber. Oh, that's, that's great. That's sick. Okay, so this is why you need to get good mission weapons. So... Well, the thing about the Fibber is there's three act there's actually three different types of it, and... Oh god, this is gonna... Oh god, look at all the help this dude has. Alright, so I do have... Yeah, but no, I've, I've, I've like tried to deck out this Gunzerker to the best of my abilities. Ooh, the bayonet attachment is so good. So, pretty much what you do is I'm going to show you how to get to what you need to get to in order to read-only farm. And I'm going to show you uh, how to actually set it up and keep it going. Because at first when I tried to do this, I I would mess it up and lose like all of the uh, lo lose like lose the mission, so I get like this terrible item. But ah, oh, that guy shouldn't be a threat. Okay, so now that's where we're gonna handle the mission. You go in here and you push. Q twice. This only works on computer, by the way, but it should work for all the Borderlands games. So you do that. Now you see that, that thing in the top right shows that you are... You, you did it. You saved. Are you serious, bro? Alright. Now, you're here. Uh, you could pause it this way, or I, I like to pause it this way to get out of the screen. You come to your folder bring it to the side. Uh, it should be in uh, documents. My games. You go to Borderlands 2. Willow game. Save data. And now uh, there's only one of these for me because I only have two characters. I don't have a lot of space here but I think you might have multiple ones. Uh, you would just go to which one was you would go uh, sort by, and you would go date modified descending, because then what that would do is it would allow the most recent one to go to the top, and that's the one you would want to look at. Now, in here, right now you could see it's in alphabetical order. You go here, you go sort by, date modified, and just to make sure you can come in here and look, it is descending, it automatically puts it to descending, but now what you do here is these two. Some people on YouTube will just tell, tell you to just do the top one, but that didn't work for me. I would end up like miss, losing it somehow, so I control, click both of these, hold the control button and click both of them, holding control the entire time. You right click, go to properties at the bottom, you say read only, you apply it to both, come back in your game, now, what read-only means is the game can read a save, it cannot write any saves. So, coming here and doing this 
will allow you to take a weapon and action Lady Fist. Okay. Now this is a shock Lady Fist, and I actually really like this. It also comes with a blade, which I like. So I want to keep this, but I also want to keep farming missions. So, what you do, you take it. What you do here shouldn't matter, because you're in read-only form. So, I like to keep the game in... I usually like to play this game uh, in full screen, but playing it in windowed makes this process a lot easier. So, you got the you got an item you want, you have one lady finger you want. You go all the way back to Sanctuary, and you put, place it in Claptrap's bank, in Claptrap's locker. And what this allows the game to do is Claptrap's locker has a different save file than... has a different save file than your character's save file, which is what you're, you're taking over here. So you just come right in here. You go all the way down to your lady fist you like. Put it in here. Now, you save and quit. So now this is a big step that I kept messing up. I don't think it's... You go to select character and make sure to re-pick your character. If you don't do this and you don't re-pick your character, it's not going to work. And you see, we were in Sanctuary, but we spawn in Arid Nexus Badlands with the capability to complete the mission again. So now, we're going to go right back. Uh, what I like to do is, I had on this to regain grenades. I, I like to do this. You just throw grenades and stuff. You, you know, grenade jump, that kind of stuff. It was a bad idea to come in here with a B shield. I could put on the Rough Rider. No, I have this. It's a really good shield just to, to stay alive with. Well, that sucks. So you can. Uh, I have the skill that lets you gun zerk while down, but most people, a lot of people, don't know this. But you can actually start gun zerking while down, like I just did there. Cool, cool little tip that I'll, I'll give you. Come here, and in the mission, okay, so this one, so this pauses the game, so we can look at it, and now, that's a pretty decent one, its damage is quite high, but I'm not going to keep it just to show you guys how to do this in case you wouldn't want to keep it, like you say you got a bad one, like low damage, things like that. Uh, so, if you don't want it, you just don't go to Sanctuary, you just push Save and Quit, and since you still are in read only, all you have to do is go to Select Character, make sure to reselect your character, and continue. And we're back here, and the mission will still be there. Now, I will show you how to save the game, like make sure you keep your weapon. So this is the easy part. The hard part's doing all that and making sure to never forget to reselect your character. Because if you do that and you just push continue, you're not going to have the mission anymore. And you won't be able to get any more weapons. So. Right over here. You want to save and quit your game? Well, pause it. Go to this little properties bar over here. Click read only again so now it is not read only apply it so now the game should be able to rewrite over its saves so now you take your lady fist that you liked or the, all the ones you liked put it in your inventory then you just and notice we didn't hand in the mission if you hand in the mission and then do this you will lose the mission again but Make sure that when you want to save and keep the weapons that you've got, you do not hand in the mission by accident and then do this. So now you just push continue, you do not need to reselect your character, and as you can see we start in Sanctuary, which means it saved us in Sanctuary. Go into your inventory, and we have a Lady Fist. And I really like the Lady Fist we got. Uh, like, people, people knock it, but, like, 
having a bayonet is actually pretty good with the Gunzerker, especially because he can... Because he can dual wield. So now, if I were to knife, all the health goes right back to me. It's kind of like having the Law and Order shield, but you know, without uh, the Law and Order combo. But yeah, so bayonets are nice. Now, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, that's how you get multiple weapons and read-only farm. And you can do this for all the missions with all the missions that give you really good items. However, this cannot be done on uh, any console like Xbox or PS4. Uh, so, if you want, I could try to show you guys how to do something like this in another video. See you all next time. And I'll probably show you more of my Krieg build. See you all next time.